When I first started the theater, I said, you know, there are a lot of Asian stories and African-American stories and Hispanic stories that we really don't get on the stage. And I said, I want those stories, and I want those playwrights, and I want to hear what they have to say. There really is an attitude that, that other voices other than the dominant culture voice just aren't important. And Francis has a different attitude. We love plays that start a discussion, that look at socioeconomic issues or cultural issues in interesting new and vibrant ways. There still aren't enough places like urban stages that speaks to relevant and important issues that people can come to that they can afford. That kind of theater, which I think is the best theater, you know, is still kind of hard to find, quite frankly, in New York. If you are a playwright, there's a place for you here. If you are a musical theater writer, there's a place for you here. If you are a director, if you are a performer, a musician, it's all inclusive. There are many theaters that read plays, but they never produce them. We do. We also commission writers to write for a play for our outreach program. It's great to have people come to the theater to see our main stage shows but not everybody can do that or, or has an interest in doing that, and so we go out to where they do go. So that might be their school, their library, their senior center, or any sort of point of focus in their life. When you have that kind of programming, it starts to uh, cut away biases. If you're only seeing the same images and hearing the same stories over and over again, it reinforces an idea that the world is one way and that there's only one story. And the fact is there are as many stories as there are people and I think that Francis is interested in telling as many of those stories as possible.